Ladies and gentlemen, every single month I do a fundraiser to keep Thor News up and running, regardless of hurricanes, plague, or volcanoes. And thanks to Greg, OG Greg, Joshua Barbara, and the rest of Astro Fight Club, I'm now within $130 of hitting my goal. So if you'd like to contribute, I got a snail mail, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron, and a whole lot of love for y'all. All right, now let us get to the red alert. If you have been following my YouTube channel for a while, you know that I give specific alerts out. Hey, can you get that off there? No, you can't. All right. What the heck? There we go. Okay. I give specific alerts um, for time periods, and I gave one for leading up to August 27th that everything would get crazy, and then we would look out for a hurricane five days after that. Anywho, the next specific time zone date I gave for like specific things going crazy were september 27th through like october 14th and then technically around the 18th and 19th and we're watching for a hurricane around the 13th of october anyway but so this euro run now is the second in a row where it shows a almost major hurricane hitting puerto rico and so this falls around the 30th, I believe, which would put us right in, yeah, the 30th to the 1st of October, which would put us right in the super danger zone window. And um, and it's been two year runs in a row that has showed it. So I'm just putting a red alert out for Puerto Rico. Now it is, you know, like 10 days away. A lot can and possibly will change between now and then but just like i've been telling everybody to try and enjoy life up to the 27th because shit's gonna go haywire mercury's gonna go retrograde joining Eris retrograde pluto retrograde chiron retrograde uranus retrograde neptune retrograde saturn retrograde jupiter retrograde and so i recommend everybody stay cool and play defense because it's gonna get weird again alan huffman the 12z euro with another dangerous looking run for invest 98l possibly future sam for the islands the virgin islands puerto rico dominic republican haiti need to stay up to date any impacts would be mid to late next week too early to tell for us the gfs and cmc are further north and east by the way so like i said a lot can happen and hopefully prayer warriors atmospheric defense team and asteroid fight club <clears throat> can help out but it's best to be prepared for the worst and pray for the best so we will continue to watch this and good news the sun is really starting to wake up again we have three sunspots on the sun just like four days ago we had zero and we have two more sunspots that are starting to form so the sun provides good energy when it wakes up so let us hope the sun continues to impress us there's a crazy Mercury Pluto square today. So yesterday I was in a super good mood, super optimistic. And today the energy is a lot more Plutonian. Pluto is not my favorite energy, man. This is the Texas Mexico border ish. Just an interesting little WTF storm there. Just want to tell you all again, you know, some people may not get into the planet stuff, but a planets have been here for thousands, millions, billions of years. And that like, when, when you have all the planets on the same side of the solar system, you know, it's like an orbit, it's an ecliptic. And so when you ha have this much imbalance, you, you really got like every single planet in our solar system, except for Mars, on one side of the sun. So yeah, there's just going to be a lot of weird sketchiness. And it's a reason that I have been predicting an increase in volcanoes and earthquakes since 2017. Leading up to like 2022, 2023, 2024. Scary footage coming out of the Canary Islands in Spain. La Palma volcano eruption that happened yesterday or day before. It has now destroyed over 166 structures. This volcano hadn't erupted since 1971. And is technically our volcano advent calendar of the month for September. And we believe we will continue to see an increase in volcano activity, like I said, up to 2022, 2023, 2024.
So, yeah, we live in crazy days, man. Smoke them if you got them. And if you find something you enjoy, you know, that's legal and ethical, do it as much as you can. Because, you know, no one knows how much time we have left on this planet. A2 Superdome. Yep, the Caesars Superdome is, is on fire. That's interesting, right? And, you know, we're in a really weird position because the United States of America government is talking about regulating cryptocurrency. And then, you know, the crypto people are like, well, what if we hit you with a bunch more ransomware attacks? And if vehicles can detect and avoid pedestrians, they can also figure out how robots can chase humans and shoot them. So the whole negotiation between, you know, fiat currency and cryptocurrency and then just the China, Russia, USA instability. The fact that civilization has been standing every day or any day since 2015 has been a major, major, major miracle. And remember, all this energy is just now starting to build and will peak out around the first and second week of October. But, you know, I'm not surprised we're talking about World War III on a Pluto square Mercury day. Hey, in basic normal news, you've got storms moving over parts of Florida and the surrounding areas. And remember, like, I could have been like, oh, my God, we're worried about Peter. Or, oh, my God, we're worried about Rose. Or, oh, my God, like, I haven't ever since the hurricane that got punched in the face um, that hit Houston. You know, I'm kind of chilled. But, yeah, 98L, we definitely need to watch out for, man. And see if you can spot where somebody punched Hurricane Ida. To save and help protect my city, Houston. Hey, this week we'll have um, heavy rains coming into these areas of the United States and Canada. Here and the parts of there. Just showing you. And this part will probably be dry. But I'd like to say again, I super duper love and appreciate Asteroid Fight Club and all the cool people out there. And I do think God is great. And we will make it through all of the shit. But when you're going through shitty shit, you're like, wow, this sucks. It could be so much better. And I think, you know, that's kind of a prevailing theme to now is that we all look around and are like, you know what? We could be doing way better than we are, but that would take teamwork. And the social media robots are going to do everything they can to divide and conquer us. But I don't know. It's interesting. Good versus evil. It's almost like this big battle has been going on since humanity learned how to start fires on their own and build houses or something dang it i hate being off my game but i appreciate y'all for sticking with me through my ups and my downs and never try to sugarcoat it or just randomly blame people because that's dumb um but yeah as you can see there's not a lot of rain for this side and there'll be quite a bit of rain for this side and there's always a chance to, like, pop up heavy. Oh, my God. Nobody warned us this shit is flooding. Yeah, and this was only, like, like yesterday was a four-hour, four-year anniversary of Hurricane Maria hitting Puerto Rico. So there are a lot of reasons for us to pay attention to Invest 98L. And then, of course, coming fresh off the full moon energy. Is everybody lit emotionally? You sometimes, boom. Hey, Wednesday marks the fall equinox. Right on cue, the atmosphere is set to deliver a swift change of seasons. Temps are sliding 10 to 20 degrees along a strong fall front sweeping across the nation, bringing about severe thunderstorms and heavy rainfall. So, yeah. And remember that crazy claim a couple months ago when they were like, oh, don't worry about electricity, man. The cryptocurrency geniuses are taking volcano power and and using that for good. And I was like, what? That was the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Anyway, it wasn't technically the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Because people say dumb shit all the time, constantly. It was just one of them. Anywho, this is the La Palma eruption. The blockchain will fix that. And I don't technically go by the calendar when it comes to autumn. I wait. For the first real, you know, oh my God, this feels like autumn. And we haven't had that in Texas yet. Although we're supposed to have it on Wednesday or Thursday. Ryan Phillips, 
late in the week, we'll jealously watch drier and somewhat cooler air slide into Florida, but it remains far to our north. Tallahassee will see overnight lows in the lower 60s. Oh my God, wear a coat, y'all. Get your mittens, Florida. Gainesville in the mid-60s. Get your furry boots. Jacksonville in the upper 60s. Um, get your heaters ready. No sign of that here anytime soon. But you will get some rain. And that cool stuff, too. And remember, not only is 98L slash Sam possibly a danger to Maria, but it could be a danger to the East Coast or even the Gulf as well. Remember, if someone hadn't punched Maria, Maria might have been in danger to the East Coast also in 2017. Man, what a crazy year that was. But yeah, all the talk of sanctions and regulating cryptocurrency and declaring them all either commodities or securities really has the crypto people kind of upset today. Anywho, U.S. sanctions cryptocurrency exchange used by ransomware gangs. The streets and homes were inundated with floodwaters and transportation ground to halt on Monday when one Indian city received more than 50% of the normal rainfall for the entire month of September in just 24 hours. And I'm not like 100,000% against crypto. I recognize that it's here and it's here to stay, but I, I think that there should be rules and regulations, you know, like everything else in our society. Um, Gensler likens stable coins to poker chips at casino gaming tables. You see my video on te Tether and how Tether basically is only really backed by 3% actual currency. Anyway, I don't want to get into that now. Joe Weisenthal. It's pretty remarkable how often NFT scams and thefts seem to happen, even among veterans in the space. And yeah, just like, you know, I'm shadow banned and I don't know, I don't trust anything digital that I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't have a lot of trust in digital things. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And then like the EU is mad at the USA because we signed a submarine deal with the UK and Australia. And I don't know. Everybody's kind of mad at everybody these days. SEC's Gensler sees long-term viability for private forms of money. little long-term viability you know because so the, yeah there's a lot of crypto talk today fema is preparing to send 50 ambulances and 100 personnel to north carolina to help with shortages nationwide because you know the plague has been a total bitch and now technically has killed more americans than died in the spanish flu of 1918 but technically we have three times more population than we did then but i didn't even want to mention it because i always get people yelling at me about uh the the plague and then you know i'm pro personal choice whether or not you want to take the vaccine but when i mentioned i took the moderna two shots and i'm very glad that i did i've seen no side effects someone's always yelling at me about it and i'm like hey man if i support your right not to take a vaccine then don't talk shit to me about me taking a vaccine especially if i heard people talk shit to me for months saying i was gonna die or i was gonna get all these horrible side effects and that didn't happen. So all I'm saying is, I'm not insulting you. So please don't insult me just because we have a different belief, okay? As a Christian, I was raised Lutheran, and we are supposed to lead by example. Because grace without works is dead, bitches. Hey, happy World Gratitude Day. And I'm so grateful for you, my Twitter family, and my Astro Fight Club family. Um, you guys are fantastic. I feel blessed and grateful almost all the time. Though sometimes life can be stressful. And then there's the whole China Evergrande thing where they have a $300 billion real estate company that's supposed to build a bunch of homes and apartments and cities and shit. And um, it's about to go totally belly up. So, yeah. You know, it's... it's And then we got fall and winter and with the plague to deal with. We got a lot of challenges. But native red cloud Mepit Luta Fitjen says, hey, we have to challenge who we used to be in order to become who we are meant to be. And I still think we will keep it together and eventually we will start to improve things. And remember, China just like kicked out crypto and said, no, you don't have any freedom to do any crypto anything in China. And so 
um, you know, it's weird. You have basically feels like the crypto guy is threatening World War III today just because the SEC is basically saying, hey, America's going to regulate, like we're going to allow it, but we're going to regulate it. That, that's my impression. Securities rules, says Gensler, security rules give the SEC great authority over crypto. And, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm one man from the point of view. And remember, I'm always broke, man. Like I didn't need the 130 bucks to raise this month to even make it through with bills and shit. So, I'm just one man with one opinion. I'm no Elon Musk. I'm no Larry Page. I'm no um, Jeff Bezos. I'm no Kim.com. I'm no Snoop Dogg. Or I'm no Taylor Swift or even Selena Gomez. I'm pretty sure every celebrity you know has millions of dollars in crypto. Um. Anyway, I'm just your planetary defense commander trying to remind all nations, all people, all groups to hang in there, stay cool, play defense, and... Teamwork is the thing that keeps civilization standing. All right. Tim Ballisti, the Irish Eagle, the immense challenge of repairing more than 30,000 poles, 36,000 spans of wire, and nearly 6,000 transformers brought down by the storm has left many wondering whether Entity G would have invested more in strengthening this infrastructure. And I think part of this zero hedge like we hate America, we hate the dollar, that all all government is evil. I think part of that ten year span was literally an insidious way to just get people spirits broken to be like cryptocurrency is the new Jesus. Although Jesus Christ is super great and the King Kings. And it's definitely way better than cryptocurrency in my opinion. But we're all allowed to have our own opinions. Oh, uh, I didn't want to editorialize this much today, but here I am. But yeah, map of lava flow from La Palma Volcano. You know, we got a lot of infrastructure problems, man. We got a lot of infrastructure problems today. And that will continue. Red alerting it. Red alerting it on a lot of levels, but Puerto Rico is the thing that allows me to whatever-ish. Okay, but yeah, I'm watching. We're watching. It's what happens. And like the Europe's energy you have major inflation happening in the energy sector. You have a bunch of energy companies that are totally folding in Europe. And so, um, like I've been saying, we're, you look for the signs now of what is going to be the crazy stories in October, November, and December. And so we're seeing it, and we could see, you know, I predict no matter what, cryptocurrency is going to get its ass kicked in December. Just like, I, you know, when Jupiter goes back into Pisces. Um, and that we could see a, a major economic correction as well, but you know, they, they make it, they create so much money with crypto and fiat. It's hard for me to see how it could collapse, but I guess if you have $300,000, $300 billion real estate companies folding, I mean, Lehman brothers was only like 60 billion. So, I mean, I don't know. It is going to be a wild and crazy fall and winter and i don't know we should be teaming up playing defense making sure supply chains are up and everybody's fed and keeping the lights on and shit but uh that's not the overall theme right now and then you got the west coast wildfires that are threatening to take out the big some of the biggest oldest trees we got on the planet crazy days man yeah i still believe god is great and we will make it through but you know it's just like at the end of August, except this will be worse to where all the crazy heiress discord fighting anger shit will build up until October 9th ish. And it looked like the world's ending, but it's not. So just hang in there. Party people. We are so much stronger now than we were a decade ago as individuals. Am I right? Yeah, I am. Okay. And super duper thanks to everyone in Asteroid Fight Club for the prayers and for keeping me alive and for all the extra little stuff, all the good thoughts, the comments, any of the times you've let me make you laugh. I really, really appreciate it all. And I wouldn't be doing this if you guys weren't so awesome and I didn't believe in you. And so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again. You know, I've got 130 bucks left to make September and October's almost here. Um, and just so thanks again, everybody out there. And if you'd like to contribute, I've only got 130 left to make it. But thank you, thank you, thank you again to OG Greg, Joshua, Barbara, Andrea, Sarah, 
Pep. Life's lemons. Dave. None you text. In the year 2525. John. Angel. Wizard of Oz. Rick. Captain Late Night. Nancy. Corey. Bryce. Elda. May. The Texas Angel. Alex. Alexis. Arnica. Anne. KJ. Max. Lauren. Daryl. Brian. Dan. Marlita. Richard. Light Soul. Glenda. Matthew, Bryce, Charles, Tracy, Pink War, Girl, Cody, Craig, John, Jamie, Mad Motifs, Darlene, and Ed. And, and I get pretty happy just at the end of the month when I get to read it because you guys treat me really well. So I do my best to do a great freaking job. And by y'all supporting me, that means I'm not beholden to anyone out there. So I don't have to force y'all some type of bullshit grand solar minimum or... The QAnon mini ice age or Elon Musk is king or cryptocurrency is savior or, you know. Anyway, I'm just saying thanks. I'm grateful for you. So everybody have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace out. God bless everyone.